My name is Mohamed Lucher from SMK Pekantri Book 5K4. Class 5K4. I will be talking about personal relationships, specifically inside a game of Yakuza 0. I'm using a game instead of actual personal relationships because I don't I don't have a personal relationship. I'm pretty I'm pretty sad and lonely. So why not just use something else as a reference? <clears throat> I'm gonna look to the right slowly. I'm I'm uh I need money because uh you can see this hot mess up here. I need to get rid of it before I, you know, go to school. In a few weeks. Which is... Pretty soon, actually. So, if I end up winning, I might, you know, get rid of this thing. I mean, it wouldn't really bother me if I, if I, if I still had this thing, I wouldn't care. But, nonetheless, if I win, that'd be pretty, pretty fun. I mean, pretty cool. So, Yakuza 0. I'm talking about these two characters. They're sworn brothers from a crime syndicate, and that crime syndicate is called the Tojo clan, which is like a family tree branch, but they're all criminals and they're not related. These two characters named Kiryu and Nishiki. We're gonna be focusing about them because their personal relationship is uh, quite an interesting one so let's start off with where and when they uh, they started off they're both uh, orphans that grew up in an orphanage called sunflower orphanage they were taken there because because bleh, bleh, parents are bleh, dead, bleh. dead so <laughs> parents are dead they're dead they're gone dead in the ditch right now so <clears throat> They grew up together like siblings, but they are still friends, of course. They, they act like friends when they grow up. They both got taken in into Yakuza by the person that brought them to the orphanage, um, Shintaro Fuma, that's his name. Well, now they're in the syndicate, so yeah, so let's start off with... Kiryu first. Kiryu is uh, dim-witted, he's very stupid um, guy that goes you know, goes through with anything without a second thought, you know, barging and barging and you know, punching people like like that. He's very brave. And he's pretty confident. Of his own uh, strength. Unlike his brother Nishiki, his brother Nishiki, of course, is quite the opposite of Kiryu. Nishiki, he's he's really smart. He's a really smart guy. He goes, he gets around the yakuza thing. He literally schooled the whole yakuza thing. But one thing about the yakuza thing that you know he didn't do very well in is. He's uh, pretty scared of his higher up. He's pretty scared of a lot of stuff. He's quite of a, a wuss. He's not really brave. And he relies on his brother to, you know, to make him feel strong. And so does Kiryu uh, feel like Nishiki is the person that makes him, he's the little push that he needs. Well, it's the same for each other. So, basically, Kiryu and Nishiki, they're, they're, they're opposites. They're, they're not the same at all. But they do have respect for each other, even though they're in a really tight spot. At all times when they're in the in this crime business syndicate, whatever you call it. But even though that that is true, I've learned that despite the harsh environment they are in right now, the situation that's taking place 
around them right now. These two characters still manage to convey feelings for each other, and this goes to show anyone can form positive relationships no matter how terrible the situation is. And I think that really says a lot about these two guys, these two friends. They care about each other a lot. They even, you know, had guns pointed at each other one time. And of course, Nishiki was sad. Kiryu, he let him, he let him pull the trigger if he wanted to. That's that's the difference between them in that in that scene. Nishiki is literally nothing without Kiryu. Kiryu is also nothing without Nishiki. So they complement each other. Well, I don't really have much to say anymore. I think that's that's where I'm gonna leave it off right now. Well, I guess um, this is a. Um... So thank you for uh, watching this video. I know it's really really rough. It sucks. I doubt that this would even you know win the competition, but you never know. I guess. I guess. I'll just turn it off right now before it gets even more rougher than it already is. So uh, goodbye and thank you again for watching this video.